yeah, the, the Trump trial finally ended today. Uh, guilty did. on all counts. Um, although I'm sure there'll be an appeal and then another Kyle, appeal. And then we'll heard... go to the Supreme Court and we'll overturn it. And then he'll be president by then. And he'll just expunge all of it anyway, right? When you it's heard about the Trump being a 34-time felon, did it make you feel like a beta? Like a less of a felon? Was it only 34? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was... I thought there were like 70 counts. At uh, one to get to that, something. like, it's like 89 or 91. You have to add all his trials together. This Man. one was only 34 <laughs> of them. <laughs> when, you know, like, if you're trying to make it look like you're not weaponizing the criminal justice system, or at the very least, if you're trying to make it look like we're all not conspiring to pile on at once right before an election, they have failed. They have failed. The other thing that's true. working against Trump is he's guilty. Right. We have his signature along with Cohen's and Weisenberg's on the payment schedules. We have his audio recording where he's like, yeah, we're going to pay off this whore I slept with. I'm paraphrasing. You know, can we uh, can we push it till after the election where it won't matter anymore? No, I'm not trying to influence the election. This is all about Melania's feelings. But but can we put can we stiffer? And then if she comes free, we don't give a fuck. Um, he's guilty on all 34 counts. And that's working against him in these things. We'll see the other like trials, he was guilty his, too. His Think life. about lying about the size of the properties, space, the the comps. Again, the timing. It's uh, after yeah. 70 years of this man probably doing the same shit. Oh, it's real important that we have five, three, four, five trials this year while he's campaigning and leading in the presidential election. The timing argument doesn't hold up to me anymore because he's been delayed, delayed, delayed. We tried to do this shit years ago. Like I've been hearing... Oh, the timing is pretty suspicious for like 27 months now or something wild like that. You yeah, know, that's it, like he all, picked he, the timing. That's he all chose to he push it off right? to the year of the election. He chose to be in court and all that. And like now by delay, like he could have had these trials a long time ago, but he files frivolous motions. He tries to ask things to get delayed and he's the one pushing all this. But all of it His objective happened. was to make it after the election, but this one didn't get that far. Yeah. I, all of this has happened in like the lead up after him announcing I'm running again. And that's what Kyle means by like, so that's actually, actually incorrect. Suspicious. You know, they were doing this before he let up, he announced extra early, hoping that this would get the trials to not happen, but they ought to already started. Yeah. It, it still looks suspicious. To if have. you look at it through a lens like that, then you'll find suspicion, but it's been happening for years now. This shit I mean, moves slowly and it moves double slowly when you try to delay it, which Trump has indisputably tried to delay it as much as he can. To me, and seemingly Kyle, I won't speak for him, it seems like weaponizing the judicial system to punish a presidential political opponent leading up to an election and throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him to try and get something. Who knows if this is going to change, increase or decrease his popularity? No one who was going to vote for him before isn't now not going to vote for him. I also don't know if this is going to influence people who weren't going to vote for him before to vote for him. Like, well, I, I know one person who can't vote for him anymore. You're wrong. He can still vote. Can he? How does yeah. that work? Because Ooh, in God. Florida, where he's from, they defer mm. to the place oh. where um, <laughs> they defer to the place where the felony happened. And in New York, they let felons vote. Oh. So he'll be able to vote in Florida because New York lets felons. Of course vote. they do. Yeah. Well, I I didn't know that the felons let let you <laughs> you need to move to new york fucking all that neapolitan thing. cocksuckers bunch of fucking big wig intellectuals up there yeah <laughs> poor donald <laughs> poor donald i hope he's okay tonight i hope he's with his loved ones and his family uh, I, I bet, bet he's having a bad Paul night son. i bet I it looks like a coca-cola commercial from the 1930s they're all gathered <laughs> around the fire he's sitting in his uh, big armchair little children are you know gathered around the ground on the on the floor at his by his feet little little donald jr and eric and Tiffany and what's the hot one not called? Milan Ivana, Ivanka. Ivanka. I always mix it up. Ivana, Ivanka, Ivanka. It's prob probably with a K. The Go hot one. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Jared Kushner's over there on the phone with Israel. Fuck, perfect opportunity. When you said the hot one, I should have said Eric. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the ugly of the, yeah, the actual like hot him. one's barren. I can imagine Trump being like, he's like, this is a terrible time. I need my family around. Eric. Just the other room. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> the daughter that we can't even name, unless one of you can name. Who's the ugly daughter? Tiffany. 
Oh, Kyle Kim. Yeah, you're right. It is yeah. Tiffany. I don't she's the one who I think ugly. is like. She's just not Ivanka. You know what? She might even be pretty. I'm I looking at her from her awkward stage eight years ago. Yeah, you know, it's fun. I, I saw Trump talking about her looks, and he's like, she's got great legs. We don't know if she's going to have these or not, but she's a good-looking little girl. She's like eight or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> is this like, Ivanka we're talking it's, about? No, it's Tiffany. It's, it's Tiffany. Okay. This, this is like a... You know, he 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 loves doing media, so it was probably like Inside Edition, one of those rag TV shows from like when however long that would have been, fifteen mm. years ago or some shit. I remember. Um, this. I saw that one of the Apprentice producers, whose NDA is apparently up, claims that they've got Trump on tape saying the N word. They always say that. I'm waiting to hear it. So I need to so see the numbers tape. Yeah, because we heard that eight years ago and a little bit four years ago and now, it's coming now, right after the now that golden oldie is coming back again so what he said was this they were talking about who was going to win the apprentice yeah. and it's something very close to like but do you really think america is going to buy it do you think they think that a ninja can win and that's uh yeah, Kyle, yeah, how close did i come probably saw pretty, it. pretty close he was like you think anybody's gonna buy that a ninja winning come on. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was something on the uh, on those lines yeah uh, i I bet, I bet, like when you hear it, like black people, are like ah, that's cool. He meant, he meant it the other way. You think that? Yeah. <laughs> you think yeah. black, <laughs> black people know when black people hear you say the n word, they can tell if there's hate in your heart. Yeah. They can tell. <laughs> no, no, black people they, do they, not they, like they Donald Trump. They spread after you. They give you pats on the back. I assume that's what they were spreading yeah. for me for. <laughs> I, I spend all my time on Facebook now, and I, I get to see all the real photos of Donald Trump. I saw him at a barbecue with a bunch of black guys. Everyone's so happy. Yes. So happy they grew extra fingers and stuff. Like everyone's having a great fucking time. Uh -huh. They got squiggly eyes. They're eating. They're eating. They're eating square meats. Uh, Dude, I, I, it's I, so funny seeing the AI pictures that that like so many boomers and like politicians fall for. Mm. Like, like it'll be like yes. a real like congressperson from New Jersey, and they'll be like, "Look, it's Hunter Biden partying in Ukraine," and it's like, <laughs> and it's like you don't even have to look at the hands like there's like women with multiple arms like that don't Dude, make sense coming out from the behind other people when well, anyway on the trump thing just to put a, a period on the end of that sentence there's two dates in june one is when he has to appeal and one is when the prosecutor replies to his appeal request or something like that and then in july is sentencing which i'm seeing people predict probation so that that's how i think how long, it goes. Uh, until they do a new like round of polls how often is that like every month they do oh there's new polls every day but like a better question would be how long until the current polls the adequately kind of incorporate this news and i would say you know 10 days 14 days okay that'll be interesting to see yeah. what how it impacts i, I like, don't think it'll matter you think it'll, it'll matter about the same? i think that shit going on overseas is going to be more impactful than trump being found guilty for something that the average person doesn't even understand uh, I don't. I don't think anybody cares. I think that most of the people are going to s just see it and go, ah, still going after him, huh? Or good, get him. What for? What's it for again? Who cares? Get him. But, like I think, I think you're honest in the for a slightly different reason. Like America's so divided and set in their position. You know, when Ross Perot ran and got twenty four percent, something like that, people were more open. Like the swing vote was a big was a third of the voting base. Now it feels like the people who are deciding which direction they go every election, I'm gonna make it up, but it's like five percent, not thirty five percent. So how much of that five switches? Heck if I know. Yeah. I don't know. I think Trump is such a polarizing candidate, it's a little bit different. I think if you had a more moderate, um, conservative, I, I'm struggling to name one right now. Maybe Paul Ryan. I don't know Paul Ryan's politics, but maybe just good looking white man and, and he's more soft spoken and he isn't so hard edged and he doesn't have any negatives like that guy's can probably pull a lot more from the left or the center but he certainly wouldn't have that die hard flag waving mm. hardcore fan yeah. base no one Trump would be has. turning out for huge rallies for the, paul ryan the, or turning out to vote like i feel like trump has inspired what was traditionally an unreliable voter base, like, you know, the, you can picture the overweight guy with the goatee, the red hat, and the mirrored oil-stained sunglasses, mm -hmm. and the anger. Uh, that guy didn't go to the polls very frequently prior to Trump. Now that guy is passionate about voting. He so, was fishing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, all of a sudden, he can't afford his new bass boat because Biden's giving all of his money to Russia. <laughs> that that's it's true. Fair. It's true. He just always giving Russia money. He's always he giving it to those those Eastern Europeans. They're all it's yeah. all they're all Greek to me. They're all Russians to me. You know what <laughs> slot where that word comes from, right? Slav. No. Slave. Slave. They were they were one of uh, so You got the cart before the horse, right? Now, all the, all those people doesn't slave come from Slav? Ooh. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. really question Taylor's word stuff. Yeah. Right. For the next time, right, 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 uh, entomology uh, on, uh, yeah. on a <laughs> slave. Which which came first, the 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 the, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. yeah. And also following follow Hillary Clinton during the, during the early two thousands. <laughs> Just whatever she does, <laughs> or whatever blows, she does, I, cattle. I, is there <laughs> a thing to be done here to copy these politicians' trades? Like I know that you can mirror Pelosi's. Yeah. Uh, um, portfolio, but do you just Her get moves. the information six months late and it's not good? Probably. Yeah I, yeah. I I don't know. I've heard people talk about that online, but I never read into it. As if they're mm. like, is there a fund that that is like mirroring Pelosi? Like like because because right? I'd want to be on board. Not for she us. did lo- she did lose money. Um, I know, like not that long ago, there was a bad one. A year yeah, ago, or but something her like and and Marjorie Taylor Green is another one that's doing really well in the stock market. Oh well, she's so smart. I mean, you'd figure. Too. Yeah. I mean, it could right. be that that's like that. She's dumb, and she has one area where she's no. like, no. where oh, someone could I, be advising her. And actually, I'm told she's not as dumb as she sounds on camera. That that behind, it, I don't she's believe crazy it. like a fox, and this is all calculated. I don't believe it. I can look in that woman's face, and I can see it, that that she's a she's a moop. Um, <laughs> did you did you see that that interaction she had Taylor the other day with the black lady? Uh-uh. She says something to the black lady like, "I think you misread that. Maybe your big fake eyelashes are getting in the way of your vision." I, I think your fake problem. eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. This <laughs> order, and this is like on the floor. And the black lady. There are rules and, against insulting each other. Yeah, and so there's this big kerfuffle where, like, you know, the, like the chair is trying to decide whether these remarks are blah blah blah, and he's reminding people you got to blah blah blah. And the black lady comes back with, "Okay, so I understand that chair, but would it be out of order if someone were to mention someone's bleach blonde, bad built butch body?" <laughs> and, he, and this guy goes, I'm like, what now? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> and you, you hear clap, clap, clap of a gavel somewhere, and people are going, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> that is absolutely unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical fan. appearance Meeting of another fan. person? Are your Move feelings hurt? Her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? Don't even. Play, baby girl. We're gonna, I don't. We think are so. gonna move, and we're gonna take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built, butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now, Chairman? I'm I make a I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion to I strike have no those idea words. What you just said. We're not gonna we're not gonna do this. Like you guys earlier, literally just. I, like, oh, you just you just, just first. voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at calm down. No, 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 because this I is what like y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. your Crockett, opinion. You're not no recognized. One. And everybody's fun. Like, they shouldn't, they, there should not be anti bullying legislation <laughs> for our elected officials. <laughs> they should have to, you know, get in the fucking dirt. Have you do seen it the how British the, way? Yeah, yeah, the British will be like, I say, that's an interesting financial policy from an avowed pedophile. <laughs> they'll be like, I say, it wasn't your grandfather, a Nazi collaborator. I, I'm just <laughs> speaking openly here. Well, that is what we're doing, isn't it? Like, <laughs> take off your again, are you? Yeah, what? she sells T-shirts that say "bleach blonde, bad butch body." I messed it up, but yeah, yeah. Be- bleach, bleach blonde, blonde, bad, butch bad built body. butch body. Yeah, yeah there's T-shirts you she, can buy. She, 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 she trademarked. She trademarked that shit right away. I like a little bit of alliteration or assonance. It, it was. A, it's a tongue twister. Uh, I, I was shocked she got it out so smoothly, and then and she did have some big old fake eyelashes. She's a pretty good speaker. Yeah, that's kind of what she does for a living. And uh but but it was funny to see like 
the old white guys would be like, what, 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 what now? <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like the white guys in the beginning of like <laughs> late nineties rap videos with like, Hey, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? <laughs> literally, literally that because you know, you'd have to sit there for like two or three minutes explaining what just happened to, to, to one of these old men who run our country. And Marjorie Taylor Greene acted like it didn't get to her. Then on Instagram, she's posting touched up bikini pics like two days later. Nice. Yeah. All it takes nice. to be good looking in that room is like, don't be old or fat. And you're like, could you imagine like the physical confidence you'd have hanging out with our federal elected officials? Mm. As long as Obama doesn't show Woody, up. You would be the bell of the ball <laughs> everyone would be like look at this guy he's got visible abs he's got nice shoulders i don't try to pump up my own tires but amongst the other congressmen i like me oh yeah mm-hmm. you know, like, paul like, ryan was a, was a paul ryan paul ryan was an aberration he's he's pretty ripped mm-hmm. dude um i wonder if that guy that doesn't have any fucking legs is is strong he kind of looks like he works out he, mostly I mean, he had big stuff. arms if i recall yeah. right uh madison Maybe. cawthorn Cawthon? No, he's, I don't think that's who Kyle's talking about. Uh, you're talking he's about the iPad guy? guy? I'm talking no, about the Dan, Dan Crenshaw. Madison Cawthon is a wheelchair guy from North Carolina, and he's got voted out. What a loser. Was he jacked? He was handsome, but not jacked. Okay, who are you talking about then, Kyle? Uh, I'm we talking about, about the, the other left. day. He had blades. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, we, we talked about the Blade Runner the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like Fucking... the Blade Runner. I don't know what party he's in or anything about him, but I like... I would no, just I, stand next to John Fetterman as much as I could. I no, like the, that dude's a ooh. fucking ogre. He's like seven feet tall. You don't want to stand next to him. Mm. I like I want, to stand, I want to be right next to Chris Christie. Right oh. next to him. In front of him. I hang out with <laughs> I, I that's the only way I would join the you know the, the Senate. He's so sweaty. Right next to Christie. That's that's a man who never leaves the house without a sweat towel. Like, like he's always <laughs> he's, he's always gross. got that. Got that towel boxers have around their neck. He's, he's Somehow he, he hoodwinked New Jersey multiple times. He's like, they're like, Governor Christie, what are we going to do about the salted meat shortage? And he's like, I don't know, but it's a problem that's affecting us all. <laughs> and he's saying that all the crabs in the bay are being eaten. <laughs> that's a problem that America's racing at this time. <laughs> what if yeah, that's Jersey's what it- got a lot of Republican governors, like more than you'd guess for such a blue state. I think Chris Christie, Whitman, and there's others. I'm lost. He's been but- using all fat campaign funds to buy blue shell crap. Yeah, we look at Chris Christie's uh, investment portfolios, and it's like, huh, Red Lobster, uh, <laughs> Little Debbie's. <laughs> He's got his retirement in Entenmann's because <laughs> he, he's fat. He's a big boy, um, and he hasn't gotten any skinnier. I thought they were going to lock him up for a while. He had that whole Bridgegate thing, um, yeah. and he seems like a corrupt. He seems pretty corrupt. If they lock uh, Trump up, I want him to be like, I've been doing this a long time. I've been thinking a long time, and I'm actually a lady. I'm a woman. Put me in there with the ladies. Me and Stormy, we can share a cell. It won't be our first time, folks. And then he can he can, he can get in. I, I, is the gag order on him uh, over now? Like, like, can he say what he wants? I don't know for sure. Okay. I, yeah. You would hope so, since, since the yeah, trial is over. That he well, the gag order was to stop him from intimidating jurors. It wasn't like he was that restricted. He can still talk about the case, the judge, the attorneys. Mm. It was just the juror stuff. He really wanted to attack the jurors. Uh, no, the jurors and the witnesses. I'm sorry. Inter- okay. Yeah, and he really wanted to attack the witnesses and sort of like, you know, put his version of the truth out there in the public air to smash mm everyone who was testifying against him. But yeah. I guess you can't talk about jurors or witnesses. Isn't that allowed? Like, aren't you allowed to call into question witnesses uh, who are... Not against? on Twitter. Well, you're... I mean, his attorneys were allowed to cross-examine them, but he wanted to go in front of the cameras and say nasty things about the jury or the witnesses. But that puts them in danger when you're Trump doing it. But they told him if he said those things, they put him in prison. Ah, yes. Well, Justice. he did do it like 20 times, and he got found guilty of 11 counts of uh, contempt, and he got 11 $1,000 fines. <laughs> That's so funny. 